Hello, I'm Erica. I'm 16 years old. I'm a Christian and I'm a climate activist. I first got involved in activism through some friends who had set up the organisation Climate Strike Gloucester. They needed some volunteers to help out with the March strike and I said that I'd give it a go. And the first time I went, I was absolutely overwhelmed by the passion and energy of everyone there and I was absolutely convinced that I was doing the right thing. I'm now a key part of the organising team. I've been head steward for a while now. Yes, my faith and my activism, I'd say they definitely overlap. Um, in terms of personally, how I think my faith has been involved, in the last year or so, I've felt a pretty strong call to doing something, but I've never quite known what it was. At Soul Survivor in 2018, I was given a Bible verse and I had no idea what it meant at the time. But looking back now, I think it was linked to how I'm meant to be involved in organising and activism and mobilising more and more people to take radical action on climate change. It's been great to see much more dialogue within the church recently about climate change and environmental issues, uh, but it's important that we remember that it needs to go beyond discussion and we need to take radical action. And for me, there are two main things which really highlight how important it is for us as Christians to be acting on climate change. The first one is the idea of global justice for the poorest frontline communities who are suffering the worst effects of climate change and we've failed to help protect because of our investment in fossil fuels. And also we have failed to conserve our God-given creation. The other thing is that Jesus massively inspires me uh, because he was a big fan of radical change and he didn't exactly like obeying authority figures. He often challenged leadership. But most importantly, he always reached out to those who've been marginalised and oppressed. And we need to recognise that we've not been doing this when it comes to climate change. And we need to start to embrace the values of the church when it comes to this issue, showing love and compassion for others and for our world. In general, I'd say I'm massively driven. The more that I find out and the more I learn about the issues surrounding climate change and inequality, the more research that you do, it strengthens my belief that I'm absolutely doing the right thing by striking and getting involved in activism. And I'm equally driven massively by the strikers that I've come to know. Some of my closest friends are in the striking community and I've got to know really inspirational people from around the country because of the movement. Other inspirational figures uh, are people and activists from around the world like Greta Thunberg and one in particular is called uh, Shie Bastida who is Mexican and she is from an indigenous community who had to migrate to the USA because of climate change personally hitting her home. And she now does a lot of work on climate activism and indigenous rights activism, which is really inspiring. One of the key concepts which I'd never really come across before I joined the movement is the idea of global climate justice. And very simply, this means that those who are least responsible for climate change are the most vulnerable communities who suffer the worst consequences of climate change and first. Another key point for me is the idea that actually environmentalism isn't about fluffy tree hugging and uh, making small changes just to your individual lifestyle. It's much more big picture than that and what I've been learning over the last year or so is that those things are important if we're going to see collective change internationally but ultimately the power comes from the corporations and they're the ones that we need to tackle and the, the ones that we need to fight for justice from. Another thing that I've learned a lot about is politics more widely and the different political systems. Um, more recently I've been 
reflecting on my privilege, I'm just another white middle class person in a mainly white middle class movement. But the reality is for us to see the radical change that we need in the world, we need to have a, a movement which is full of diversity and different voices from many different backgrounds rather than just one particular group of people. So I'm just about to start my A-levels, hopefully in September, but I'm definitely looking to go to university. Uh, in terms of career, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do, but I do want to do volunteering and supporting people in need where I can. I also want to be part of helping churches mobilise more in Leicester City and County to help them understand the larger scale ideas around climate change, the big picture solutions and causes. So for instance, recently I've joined the Diocesan Environmental Group and Bishop's Youth Council and I'm hoping that by being part of these groups we can work towards having more radical changes in our own city when it comes to climate action. Just in the last year we've seen Leicester Diocese vote to become an eco-diocese and also the National Church commit to the net zero carbon emissions by 2030. But these targets need to be followed up with practical action and they are extremely ambitious but I know that we will be able to do it if we all pull together and ensure that we address the radical change that is needed. But also I have a Bible verse to finish on from the message translation of 1 Corinthians 13. We don't yet see things clearly. We're squinting in a fog, peering through a mist, but it won't be long before the weather clears and the sun shines bright. But for right now, until that completeness, we have three things to do to lead us towards that consummation. Trust steadily in God, hope unswervingly, love extravagantly, and the best of the three is love. <laughs>